Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering with me, Yudlad. We are doing another of these weekly things where we uh, kind of make up a deck to begin with and uh, then we try to make it work throughout the week. Um, this Monday we'll do maybe one or two matches and uh, then on Wednesday I'll uh, take a look at your suggestions, maybe do some changes and um, then on Friday we'll have the finished result. That is the idea and we are sticking to it and let's have a look at this weird little deck that I kind of made. Um, I made it actually like immediately after um, I finished the last series with the Liliana's contract. So I have this idea that I want to do a self mill deck. So we have Jace, Wielder of Mysteries obviously, he is our victory condition. Without him we can't win by milling ourselves. We have Ashiok, which is a really good mill uh, component for ourselves. Uh, for some reason, I have Mnemonic Betrayal. Let's actually remove that. I'm not sure why I added that. Thief of Sanity is kind of a good way for us to get creatures and stuff out if we accidentally mill too much of our own things. Um, but the thing that really made me kind of want to play this deck is the... Um, Agent of Treachery and Mass Manipulation. So I had this idea that I want to get the Agent of Treachery to work. I feel like that should be a thing that we have in the deck as well. Um, as it is a self-build deck. So I really want to keep this in the deck. See if I can make it work. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, mass Manipulation just because like it's kind of a good control card. If we're going to go more heavily into control. Now, looking at the deck. I feel like we should actually be removing the black mana. Um, the black cards, not super needed, really. Um, and I feel like we could actually do something like this instead. Um, where we can be having... Uh, where is she? Where is she? I think I should have her. There. Tamyo, Collectors of Tales. Um, this is kind of a... Like, this, this is a kind of good self-mill card because, well, her plus one, I get to search for specific cards and mill myself. And her minus three is that I can just bring back, if I accidentally mill something really important, I can just bring it back from the graveyard. So I feel like we should be adding four of her. So we have three Planeswalkers, which is kind of much, but I feel like that's okay. Um, and... Uh, other than that, I feel like the Risen Reef could be kind of interesting, doing some sort of uh, some sort of uh, elemental kind of draw cards through that. Risen Reef could be kind of cool. Um, I'm also considering adding that. Uh, let's see, it's a blue card. It's uh, one of the finales. Um, Final of Revelation. Which could be kind of cool. It is super, like, it is a okay card draw mechanic, I'd say. Like, obviously, if you, like, use it to draw two or three cards, it's not super good. But if you use it to draw, like, six or seven, it's super useful. Plus, if we can get it up to ten, we can draw, or we will have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. So I feel like it's kind of okay. We'll add it for now. Um, and I, I really think that we should be having some blue-green ramp. Growth Spiral, probably. I kind of like the card. Um, we probably... Like, I like I kind of like the Risen Reef. And then we can look for Elemental. Can't even write anymore. There we go. So let's see. What kind of Elementals can we actually add that would be kind of good? The Cloudkin Seer. I've never really been a fan of the Cloudkin Seer. But it's kind of okay, I'd say. The Leafkin Druid, we could add that. We could add the Healer of the Glade as well. Yes, some kind of sheep um, elementals that can help us draw a crap ton of cards, basically. Um, after that, I think maybe Cavalier of Thorns. I kind of don't like it. It's too expensive. Or like, considering like what it does, I, it could be okay. It could be okay. I'm not a super fan. We'll wait with it. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Nissa. 
I don't think she'll be super duper. I think we'll actually just let leave her alone for now. And we'll see what we can do instead with what we got. Um, hmm. The Wave Crasher is not super good either. Maybe the Thunder Drake, actually. Like, the Thunder Drake is kind of okay. Um, for 4 mana, it's a 2-3 flyer with uh, that buffs itself every time you play more than 2 cards each turn. So I feel like that's kind of okay. Um, the Frost Lynx is also a kind of good controlling card. Um, so I feel like that could be something that we might add. Solo the Rapids is just a pain in the ass. It's not really good, to be honest. But it's it's just kind of a pain in the ass. I do kind of like the Bloom Hulk to proliferate. Because we ha we do have three Planeswalkers. So proliferating could actually be kind of useful. Do we actually have anything else that kind of scales with that, though? I don't think so. Maybe if we can get some plus one, plus one counters in here. The Overgrowth Elemental is really freaking good. Um, also Wild Growth Walker, but we're probably not going to be exploring that much. I feel like we should be going into spells at this point. Um, let's see. What we could do, and I kind of like, we should be adding some counter spells. Do we have any wizards? I don't think we have any wizards in our deck, no. So, wizards retort, not useful. Um, what we could do though is, um, let's see, um, let's just write in counter and see what we can actually get. Uh, quench is, I, I, I always feel like quench is kind of okay. It's a good early game counter, which is really annoying as well. Um, not super useful anymore, or not super used anymore. Hmm. This could be kind of interesting. Tefari's Time Twist. This is actually a kind of a save your own creature kind of thing. Could be useful on the Leafkin Druids, or the Growth Spiral, uh, or um, rather the Risen Reefs. Could be kind of useful on those, so I feel like we should be adding two maybe. We don't want that many. Um, what we do want, though, I think, Spark Double. Spark Double could be really cool. Hmm. You know what? Let's add some Spark Doubles. I do like that idea. Um, it's not a spell, I know, but I feel like it's okay. Hmm. Devious cover up. Do we really care about that? Like, it's kind of an expensive counter spell, let's be honest. Bone to Ash, kind of expensive as well. We want some cheap stuff. Um, Thought Collapse. Not super useful for the milling. But could be kind of cool anyway. Uh, but I think we'll just go with some regular counter spells, probably. Um, or we should have some cancels. Here we go. Let's just add, like, a couple of cancels. Or no, wait. There's the surveil one. There we go. Sinister Sabotage. It's way better than cancel. It's just plainly a upgrade on cancel, basically. I think that's kind of okay. Oh, crap. We forgot to add islands. Damn it. Okay. Let's add land. I always forget adding land because, like... Since I've, like, messed around with it, it doesn't, like, do it automatically. So that feels bad moment. Uh, that is, like, the amount of lands we sh should have, so we have way too many cards. Okay, Spark Double. It's a cool idea. Not super useful. The Bloom Hulk, I kind of like that idea. Um, let's see, actually, if we go Proliferate. If we can find anything that's actually, like, kind of useful. Contingency plan, I kind of like. The Polymbright Druid could be really cool. Actually, removing Tefaris Time Twister and two tw Sinister Sabotages. Um, Final of Revelation, let's remove that. I don't think that's going to be super important to us. 
And other than that, like growth spiral, I kind of like. Not a massive fan though. So remove two of that and. Uh, I feel like Jace is the only one I kind of want four of right now because he is the only one that is like extremely important that we pull. Other than that, low, like we have a really low amount of control. It kind of feels bad. It kind of feels like we're not going to be getting... Uh, uh, I feel like we're, we are not going to be... Um, getting that much done with this. Hmm. Yeah, like, this doesn't feel super good. I'm gonna be honest. Um, but we'll try it out. We'll see how it, uh, how it goes. I might be wrong. You never know. I am very often wrong. Let's consider that, so... Let's hope that this is one of those moments and see how it actually goes. Because, like, I feel like that is, like, it is a, um, the idea is good, but I'm, I don't think we kind of have the things needed for the execution right now. This is kind of greedy keep, by the way. The Risen Reefs, uh, I should have waited. Should have waited. The thing is, like, for some reason, I just really hate it when I have to discard cards. That is one of the things that I hate the most, I think, like when I'm playing these kinds of games. I never want to discard cards. That is my least favorite thing to do. So uh, that's why I usually like setting in like lands that remove the maximum hand size, stuff like that. That's kind of why I like having those kinds of spells and such in my deck. Uh, hell yeah, we're gonna reveal that. Then we'll get the Risen Reef out. This could go well. Could also go really, really badly. We have some extremely... Like, I didn't fix the mana curve at all. I didn't... I, like... I should have definitely had more of a look at the mana curve. Before I actually, like, started this. Like, our mana curve is so bad. Or, or rather, our... How I decided to have the mana, like, distributed is, like, really, really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, so we can actually, like, discard a Jace. We have two of him in our hand. Should be fine. Like, he is buffing this guy up like a mother trucker. If we can actually get mass manipulation out, this could kind of be legit. Play a healer of the glade. Like considering he only pulled like he's only pulled two land, I feel like I'm like I'm being I'm being screwed over right here. It's a really be feels bad moment. Another risen reef. Hell yeah, put that on the board. So we just need. Um, one more blue mana. And we should be kind of in a really good position. I feel like we should be discarding the Sinister Sabotage. Probably the Bloom Hulk as well. If we pull, pull like one blue mana now, um, we can actually take control of this Knight of Malice, which would be really useful. Like, that is a really buffed creature. So it, fe it would feel really good doing that. Let's do the Risen Reef. Wow. Well, let's play another Leafkin Druid. Like, we're going through our deck really fast. I guess that's a good thing. But at the same time, we're also kind of in a really shitty position. Let's remove Ashok. Ah, oh, crap. We need to discard two. Another Jace. I feel like that's okay. Like, the Risen Reef idea is working. But I kind of screwed up with the mana curve. And I feel like... Like, I... As I mentioned, I hate discarding cards. 
So I feel like I, I really want something that increases uh, my hand size. So this could actually be, let's see, could actually take control of two creatures here. Hell yeah. Boom. Boom. And, uh, well, I mean, might as well, right? Thank you. And then we'll play the Leafkin Druid. Boom. And no attacks. And we'll, uh, we'll discard the Leafkin Druid. I feel like, like, we have pulled a lot of cards. We're, like, halfway through our deck already. And I feel like we're in kind of a good spot. We can throw away some elementals right now. She just blocked this, probably. Like he is he is very unlucky by the way. This this guy that we're facing, really freaking unlucky. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Oh my god, he had to be... Like, he, he, he had to have been so mad. So freaking mad. When I think about it, we don't need that many Jaces. Like, we are pulling a lot of cards. So actually having, like... Jace is not really a good card for us to play either way. Maybe we just want two, two Jaces. And then we want a tiny bit more, like... Want a couple more... Um, elementals, I think. Because I, I still believe that this elemental idea that we're running with is kind of working. So I kind of want to continue on that. Let's add some frost lynxes. I want to add, like, more. Probably not. And you know what? I don't care what anyone of you is going to say. I'm going to add it. Where are you? Reliquary Tower. Give me at least two. God damn it. I hate. I hate discarding cards. It always feels so bad discarding cards. Maybe actually having the Lotus Fields could be... The Lotus Fields could be kind of cool. But I don't think they're super useful. We'll try one more game. And... Uh see how it goes. I kind of like these changes, like, because as mentioned, we're not discarding an extreme amount of cards. We're mostly drawing cards. So us pulling Jace, like, the, the, the chance of us pulling Jace is actually surprisingly high. And uh, I feel like we can actually reduce the amount of Jaces that we have, um, just for that reason. You know what? We'll play Healer of Glade. I do really like Healer of Glade, by the way, as a card as well. Like, it's a kind of good defender, it heals you for three, and it's really freaking cheap. So it's, it is really good. Let's play the Growth Spiral. Boom, a Leafkin Druid. Boom. Um, I don't think we should be playing anything else. We want to save the Druids, um, or the Elementals, rather, to the turns where we actually have the Risen Reefs out. It is at that point, it is actually useful. There we go. A Leafkin Druid. No attacks. Enter. Hmm. We are ramping up surprisingly quick with this deck. I kind of like it. I do hate this deck, by the way, that he's playing. It is very strong. We'll do another healer of Glade. I, like, I kept a really bad hand, let's be honest. Maybe we do need more ways to search for cards. Because, like, now that I think about it, if we do not pull any of the Risen Reefs, we are in a really bad spot. Maybe we always should mulligan for the Risen Reefs. Maybe that's actually a better idea. I feel like that could be, like kind of a better idea. 
I didn't even remember this card, like the Thirsting Bloodlord. That is actually a really good vampire card. Wow. Like, we are... S we can do this, actually. There we go. So if we do this, we can actually play the Agent of Treachery next turn and take that Bloodthirsty Aerialist. I feel like that's a really good plan. Agent of Treachery just stealing over. That permanent. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, hell yeah. Boom. Give that to me. It's mine now. <laughs> She's mine now, John! <laughs> or mind, Mind's Edge. Okay. Guess I'll block that. Do we want to take the Cruel Celebrant? I feel like we probably should, let's be honest. Yeah, screw it. Um, yeah, we'll just swing in with this. Boom, get some damage in. Hmm. I feel like... Should I be using Ashiok? I feel like I should be playing Ashiok. That's a no-brainer. Boom. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely play Ashiok. Start to mill ourselves, I guess. Like, I'm gonna have a rule with this deck specifically. Wow. And we have mill the, the best, like, cards that we have. Okay, I'm gonna have a rule with this deck. If I'm going to use any sort of mill ability or any sort of mill spell, I have to mill myself. Because we are only aiming on winning through milling ourselves. And, uh, like, we could definitely, with this deck, mill our opponent. That is something that we definitely could do. But, you know, I feel like we probably don't need to. It's like he's, he keeps forgetting that I can actually, like... Um... Ah, oh, crap. Keep pulling land. This is really bad. I leave. My victory was that was an okay, like, self-mill, I'd say. I feel like that's okay. We kind of need to get rid of this uh, pacifism. I'm not sure how to do it, though. I don't think we can. Ooh, that's an Angel of Vitality. Like, I feel like we're kind of screwed with this matchup, probably. Maybe not. Can we actually save this? Any lunar anomalies you have experienced? So we have six mana. Do we have anything that can actually kind of help us here? We have an agent of treachery. Which I feel is... Like he won't be winning next turn? No. He won't be winning next turn. So... If we take a Agent of Treachery, we could also try to get a Mass Manipulation off. We need one more land for that, but that is definitely something that we could try. I think we definitely do that. Let me aid your research. Mass Manipulation, come on. Ah, fuck. Well, let's mill ourselves and see what happens, okay? Let's also play our Ashiok. Kill off our old one. Uh, and we can mill ourselves again. Plus we get to heal from this. So that's good. Your final terror is no attacks. 
And uh, I think we'll go with this, like... Ooh, that's a Knight of the Ebon Legion. They are a pain in the ass. Like, we'll survive this turn. If we get a mass manipulation, we can actually, like, maybe do something with this. A mass manipulation, please. That's not a mass manipulation. Let's mill ourselves and see if we mill a mass manipulation. If we do that... Behold wow. my epilogue of fear. Well. Come on. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, we don't have enough land. Crap. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Ah. Uh, oh well, whatever. God damn it. Like, if we had one more blue land, that could... That, that would have saved us. That would have saved the crap out of us. We could have taken, I think, all their flyers, right? Yeah, we definitely had, like... We could have taken three creatures. Yeah, we could have taken all three flyers. That would have been so good. That would have been the best. Oh my god. Damn it. Okay, this... I feel like this, okay? This deck is kind of working. It's kind of working. There are some... Some things that I want to change. I feel like the Sinister Sabotage not doing that much. I, I am not a good counter spell player. I usually always try to spend all my mana. And um, I think, like, playing with Sinister Sabotage, counter spells, stuff like that, I'm not going to be doing it well. So we should be focusing instead on, like, drawing cards, drawing a lot of cards, having a big hand, having answers to everything they do. That's kind of what I want to do instead. So uh, give me some suggestions. I, uh, I think this is kind of okay to begin with. We have a couple of elementals, we uh, use the uh, Risen Reef to draw a lot of cards. Then we have Ashiok and the Ty uh, Tamio yeah. um, to uh, find specific cards. And we also have two Jaces, just two Jaces, because we are drawing a lot of cards. We are probably going to get Jace into our hand in case he goes into the graveyard. We have Tamio that can bring him back into our hand. Um, and also... If you can, if you have any sort of ideas that involves um, mind controlling or taking control of other people's permanents, I love that. I kind of want to keep the Agents of Treachery. I know they're not the best, but I kind of like it. But I hope you liked uh, this video. Wednesday will be have a continuation, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.